Man, did y'all feel that earthquake the other day? Oh my god, I was like... <laughs> well, I mean, what a show, right? What a show. Oh, I'm so sick of screaming into the mic during this song! So I'm not gonna do it this time! Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 171? <laughs> Wait a minute. You're joking. No, I'm not, actually. I'm not joking. I don't joke when it comes to the real lives of lives. I don't around okay and you know why i don't fuck around is because i just i tell people i straight up i say it i say subscribe to the dynamite gizmo films channel hit like hit the bell please I mean, go to the comments and say hey my butthole itches or some whatever you want to say go ahead you know what here's the della russo folks Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card, but you'll find out anyway because we'll talk about it. Now, what do we want to talk about? I want to talk about this. This is another one of those episodes where I had already done, did, recorded it, and something, one of the features of what I'm doing failed on me. And I don't have multiple backups for everything. Okay? This is a one-man show with a low-budget fucking business strategy okay I got the bare basics I'm doing things in such a difficult way because I don't have the proper equipment you understand so we didn't get any of the screen capture footage and that is crucial to this episode so I said god damn it I gotta re-record this shit and it's not the first time this has happened. It's happened multiple times. And it's probably going to continue to happen. But uh, I got everything updated. Okay? There was a... If I would have just updated my screen capture software... Alright, we wouldn't have had the problem. Because there was, a, there was actually one update that it needed in order to prevent it crashing while recording. And I didn't have the update, so it crashed while it was recording and it didn't save a goddamn bit of information. Isn't that lovely? God, that's lovely. So everything's all updated and uh, I even upgraded uh, my, you know, the, the fucking software itself, the Mac software. I'm using, what is it called now? Catilda or something? What is it called? Catalina? Yeah, Catalina. Not Catilda. What is this? Matilda? Jesus. Take a hike, would you? Take a fucking hike. Um, there was something I really wanted to talk about, but now I can't remember what it was going to be. Ooh. Ah, uh, but, well, uh, oh, hey. How, hey, how, how are you? What you got for me? Oh, son of a bitch. You're still hard at it with the not opening of the cans and pouring it into the cup. Why can't you just do that, Janice? Did you shake this? Is it going to get all over the keyboard? There's a trick I learned in science chemistry class. And you might be saying, it doesn't work. It does. Ow. It hurts, though. If you got a wonky nail. Just flicked all them sides, every one of those sides, and all the bubbles go away. And then you can open it. Because we all know Janice shook the shit out of this, and she's trying to fucking, you know? I gave her an opportunity to come back here, and she's still fucking with me. I don't know why she doesn't just bother to pour the soda pop into the mug that's provided. Look at all them bubblers. Don't you hate it when the bubbles splash you in the face? 
when you're trying to take a gnarly sip. I prefer drinking it right out of the can. You don't get the bubbles in the face. Oh, I love slurping. I love slurping in the camera. I'm a slurp derp. Slurp. Purple nerps. <laughs> did y'all see YMH Live on Friday? I sure did. The second one, I saw it. I was there. I witnessed it. It was fantastic, but it was hard to watch at a lot of times. The toenail, that was the worst. It wasn't a toenail. It was a fingernail. It was bad, you know? The first thing that he did was bad, and then the second thing that he did was worse. That, you know, and then the apples. We all saw the apples. That was crazy. Um... You see, I don't want to reveal too much. I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it. But it's great. You get to see Ed Asner's penis. If you haven't seen it before, you get to see it this time. Johnny Pemberton's there. Dr. Drew digging into a hole. Josh is involved. There's holes and grossness. I couldn't believe how far Dr. Drew was sticking that in there. It was so far. He went so deep. I almost puked at that point. And like to think of how much pain Josh was in. Because fucking Nadav was there as well. And he didn't bring the fucking. The painkillers. It was very. Strange. Lots of stuff going on. Lots of penises, lots of poo, lots of lots of anuses. Lots of the insides of anuses. Lots of everything. So why don't we... Because we have a lot to talk about, and I already covered it uh, when I recorded this yesterday, but guess what? It's all gone now. It's all gone. I deleted it. I didn't even bother saving it just in case I wanted to try something. I was just like, no, dude, get rid of it all. So it's all gone. It all went in the trash. <sighs> oh, why don't, should we talk about this right now? Maybe not. No. We'll skip this for when the time comes. We got to talk about this. Um. Huh, okay, Gregory, I got something to say. Are you for or against the mask of the, the <laughs> are you for or against the mask? I want to know. Gregory, I'm asking you specifically. Doesn't matter because this clip, have you got have you seen the clip of these fools walking down Target, walking all up and down the aisles with their music chanting about how they want to, you know, stop uh being a sheep and wearing masks. They're telling all the people in tar Target to take their masks off. Uh, oh, God, that's soda pop. Who calls it soda pop? Not me. <laughs> the people in this video are so insecure, okay? It The insecurity just oozes out of their skin, and it's all over the floor, and it's touching all the other customers, and the other customers are like, Get me out of here. It's not, they're not passionate. So it's awkward to watch. You can't, you can't go protesting over this because there's nothing to be passionate about. When the riots from George Floyd, or the protests, I should say, not the riots, the protests from George Floyd happened, there was passion. You believe the people, and you felt for the people. I, but here, you're just, whether you're for or against the mask, If you, even if you're against wearing the mask, you're on these people's side, and you watch them walk up and down these aisles, you're going to be like, what the fuck is this? This is some insecure bullshit-ass shit. You can even hear it in their voice. They're just like, they just want the attention. They know that they're going to get the attention. 
the thing is, if you're going to be just an attention whore, at least put some good acting into it. At least make your argument sound believable. These guys sound like, you know, I'm sure they believe what they're doing because they're not wearing the mask, but they're not confident in how they approach this. They need more confidence. They're all insecure, every single one of them. And I, I hate watching it. Take your mask off! Take it off! Yeah, take it off! Fucking idiot. gonna take it yeah 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 we're not gonna take it no we ain't gonna take it we're not gonna take it anymore we're not gonna take it hated every one of them every single one of them even the children no not the children the children don't even know what they're doing they're just you know whatever they're just like hey this is fine and look at this fool just smiling the whole time, embarrassed. You can tell how embarrassed he is. He's like, oh, I don't want to be here. Get me out of here. Oh. <laughs> Look how red his face is. Maybe that's just the reflection from the mega hat, but... Oh, yeah. He's insecure as fuck. Get out of here, you cuck. Get out of here. And then this guy at the back just filming. Like, yeah, I'm just here for the ride. Don't mind me. I think we're warmed up, people. I think our engines are bubbling now. Uh, we're not going to look at those memes. We're not going to look at those memes. You want some good news? Okay. If you haven't seen YMH Live, the second episode, you know, you would have missed the announcement that... Uh, Mr. Josh Potter himself has a podcast coming out. He's got a goddamn podcast. And it's going to be on the YMH channel, and I can't wait. Do I got boogers? <laughs> Not anymore. They're in my throat. <laughs> uh, look at this tweet. Fuck yes, J.I.E. Potter. Own podcast. I cannot wait. Who says it like that? And then Josh says, can't wait to get started. You have no idea. You know, some people argue that, that this emoji is the praying emoji. And then other people argue that it's like a high five. I've always seen it as a praying emoji. But now I look at it as a high five sometimes. And I never know what people are referring to. But isn't there an actual emoji where it's like, the hands are together and there's lines coming out to make it look like they're clapping. I don't know. If there isn't, then they should make one like that. Then you can differentiate between the two. Are they praying or are they clapping? <laughs> Remember back in the day when there was uh the emojis that moved on MSN Messenger? I don't know how cool you were when you figured that shit out. You'd be like, look what I can do. And everyone had the same shit. There was no variety. It was all the same crap. It was all the same default crap. Dude, I can feel the snots. But maybe those are just wicked long hairs or something. <sighs> great fucking podcast. What a great goddamn podcast. And what was I going to do before I jumped into there? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bigelow. Bruce Bigelow. The European gigolo. Story time. Story time. <laughs> Just like the TikTok. Story time. Um, oh, there's an ad in six seconds. Hold on a second. I got to play this ad. Um, It's a tour <laughs> bus. And so... I'm just going to mute it. So... Ooh, 
One thing I like to do is go for walks. Hold on a second. Look at this ad. You see these games? Okay, they're all bullshit. This is just a stupid little bonus fucking mini game you can play within the game that they want you to download. But that clip there of him of you like moving the lines and making the fluid move out of the way so that you can complete your objective. That looks kind of fun, right? Well, that's how they get you. You download that app, it's nothing like what they're advertising. You don't get to do that. That's that's just something that 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 attracts you to the game. That little thing there, that's just something you get to do maybe once. And then the rest of it is all bullshit. I swear to God, there's something in my nose. Get it out! That's just like that clip of uh, Lil Xan saying, Get out! Um, a stream deck's expand. all updated. Doesn't freeze even a little bit. Thank the Lord Jesus. Sorry, I shouldn't say Jesus. They don't like that. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, Jesus. The only problem is the stream deck's too small. It's got six buttons on it. I need the big one with like 25, 30 buttons. I can just be like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I know I'm sniffling a lot, but I swear there's something in my nose. I swear, like, I'm not even joking. It's like a bug, but it's not moving. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, do you hear that? Can you hear that? Anyway, I was walking my doge, my doge, my dog. His name's Olive, or Oliver, or Oval, or Orville, or Oval, or Orville Redenbacher, or Oblong, or Vetchkin, or Vetchki, Oregon, Oregano, <laughs> Entourage. <laughs> He's got lots of names. Okay, so I was walking Lil Xan the other day. No, that's not one of his names. Oobel. I was taking the Oblong for a walk. That is one of his names. Uh, he's a small little piece of shit. Uh, and I like to listen to podcasts while I walk. And I like to do it while I'm a little bit high on amphetamines. No, high on... Legal cannabis. Legal cannabis. Okay? Legal, because I'm in Canada. It's illegal everywhere. <laughs> Even in the Yukon. You can smoke weed in an igloo. In Nunavut. And ride your snowmobile. <laughs> anyway. Back to the story, I'm walking the dog, I'm listening to a podcast, I'm listening to Dynamic Banter, one of my favorite podcasts of all time. Love Dynamic Banter, and I love listening to, Di to Dynamic Banter while you're walking, because it's a challenge to try not to laugh in front of other people when you pass them by. Because they think you're insane, because I'm wearing earbuds with no string, no cords, they're Bluetooth, and they're smaller than... Uh, AirPods, so you can't really tell there's anything in my ear. So, when people look at you, they're like, this is just a guy walking his dog. Why is he laughing? This guy's crazy. Okay? And they stare at you, and they say stuff. Like, what's so funny? But I can't hear them, so I just keep looking ahead and laughing like I'm fucking straight out of the psych ward or something. Anyway, I'm walking the dog, I'm listening to Dynamic Banter, and this part comes up where Steve's talking about, wouldn't it be cool if someone mooned out their car window and they took a little shit while they were mooning out the window? And that was funny, okay? 
So I'm starting to giggle a little bit. And I'm walking past an old folks home. Uh, There's this old lady coming towards me and she's walking on the street, not the sidewalk. Because in this small fucking town that I'm in, for some reason, every, every well, so many people walk around here, which is great, fine, whatever, cool, walk. But they all walk on the goddamn street. They'll walk three side by side on the fucking street. And they don't give a fuck about traffic. They could care less. They're always in the way. And there's always cars parked on both sides of the, the street. And if they're fucking walking in your lane and there's a car coming, you know, there's nothing I can do. I literally got have to stop because there's no room to get around these fucking stupid idiots. Anyway, uh, that's not p- crucial to the story. I'm just saying, if you walk on the street... You deserve to get hit by a car. And one of these days, I'm going to mow over some old ladies. I don't care. I'm going to do it. No, I'm not. Anyway, the lady's coming towards me. I'm on the sidewalk. The lady's on the road. She's coming towards me. Now, she's old. She's like 80s, maybe even like 90 years old. Okay, but she looks... You know, she looks old, but she seems to be walking decently. Anyway, she sees my dog. How did this go? I'm trying to remember now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she sees my dog. (laughs) And she's like, I can't really tell if she's talking yet, but I know she, like, is about to stop because she's staring at my dog. I'm like, okay, she might say something. And I can see her mouth moving, and I'm like kind of hearing something. So I like, I tap the earbud to pause the music, to pause the podcast. And she, and as I do that, like Oliver like stops, and starts to take a shit. <laughs> as this is happening, as Steve was just talking to me about shitting out of a window, my dog stops to take a shit while this old lady is stopping, to you know possibly pet the, my dog or something. So I'm still giggling a bit, and I'm trying to hold it in. And as I pause the podcast, she's looking and pointing at the dog, like saying, Oh, you taking a poop, you little fatty? (laughs) You taking a poop, you little fatty? Oh, you're just a little fatty, aren't you? Um, (laughs) And now, Oliver's not that fat. He's not fat. He may be a little chunky. I think I have been feeding him a bit much lately, but... He's not fat. He's tiny. And she's calling him a little fatty. I think, anyway, that's what it sounded like. She might have been saying little cutie, but the, uh, it sounded too much like little fatty. I could barely hear her, even with the music paused. Um, So I'm laughing. <laughs> but I'm laughing at like the whole situation that's going on. And then, so I'm like, okay, Oliver, come on, hurry up and shit. So I, he's done shitting. I pick up the turds with the bag. I don't know if she's... I think she's not saying anything at this point. It's kind of blurry. But anyway, she moves on. I wrap up the poo. And I continue to walk with the dog. And then I hit play. And then uh, Steve is talking about, you know, like, what if you shit out the window while you're mooning in your in your car? And then the news, the, the news crew in the helicopter zooms in on it and starts asking questions like, "What's that hanging out the window?" It's just like I can't remember exactly what he said, but it's like a brownie hanging out between this guy's butt cheeks, and it, the poop was just hanging there. And then as I look down at Oliver, he too has a piece of poo hanging out of his butt. And I guess I should have played the. Um, it's a tour bus, <laughs> and so the window is rolls down. In the in the in the back seat, and you yeah. look, and someone's butt comes out of the window with like a half turd. Yeah, <laughs> a half turd. Yeah, I can picture it. I mean, it's repulsive. No yeah. one. Wa- so as he's talking about that, like that half turd, and then he gets into the newscasters and whatnot. 
that's when I look down and I see that Oliver's Oliver's got a half turd hanging out of his butt. I think I rushed him. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, man, what do I do now? But he did the little butt scratch thing, butt slide on the ground, and he got it off. Yeah. Try taking walks or going on public transport, transit. And uh, <laughs> you listen to dynamic banter without laughing. Try it. It's one of my favorite podcasts of all time. It's fucking fantastic. All the inside jokes and strange humor you get from it. It's fucking wonderful, bro. So Ethan Klein, as you may or may not know already, uh, James Charles stole the Teddy Fresh design, you know, their iconic color block pastel hoodie. He stole that shit, put his own fucking logo on it, and uh, Ethan said he wasn't going to release the DMs for whatever reason, but now he has re- released the DMs. So... We'll take a read. We'll read those. But he says here, why am I sharing this? I think it's worth showing he admits he ripped us off with all the people who have been d- denying it. Two, I have no desire to take legal action. So this is the closest I can get to some sense of justice before he sells a billion of these. Three, he has gone on a war path when someone ripped his makeup. Four, all of our fans who will be wearing their color block will now be besnaken as James Charles fans. Exactly. Okay. I mean, Ethan said it best himself. James obviously has a bigger audience. So it's going to stretch out more to those people. You know, that design is going to be not associated with Teddy Fresh anymore. I mean, Teddy Fresh, you think Teddy Fresh, you think that that sweater. When I got Animal Crossing... I was like, I'm going to make a Teddy Fresh design, and that's the sweater I made was that. And so did Chris Milberger. Um, And lots of people did. That's like when you think Teddy Fresh, you think that design right there. And so, you know, James just took it right out of his butthole. Let's just see what James had to say. Oof! Looking closer at the screenshot you just sent me, I will give you the heads up that one of the colorways we're doing is actually an exact copy of the purple tan pink and teal hoodie you guys have upside down smiley face i designed the pastel one on the nike hoodie but my design team pitched me a bunch of colorways once we decided on doing a color block collection and i liked that one and said yes once again not being familiar with your brand or hoodie the units have been produced for a while now, so there's nothing I can do, but I'll definitely be speaking to them because although I didn't copy anything, they s- they certainly may have confused raised eyebrow face, which is not okay. Or which is not okay. <laughs> and then uh, Ethan says, not really a coincidence then, is it? Um, um, uh, disappointed face. And James, but it appears as though it may not be. I'm speaking with the team now, so I'll keep you updated on what they say. Ethan, well, hmm, not really sure what to say. That hoodie is pretty much our hallmark as a brand, but now I'm learning that more than one is knocked off, so I'm a little speechless, I guess. Charles of the James, once again, upside down smiley face. The main hoodie collect the main hoodie in the collection isn't knocked off. It had a different source of inspiration. Has a different color body, different color pocket, and logo is completely different. Placement size and color. You don't own color block either. The other color way which I did not personally select but approve however is extremely similar and I am trying to get to the bottom of how the design team came up with it hmm I wonder 
Regardless, we don't have the same fan base or demographics, so there's really no competition here. <laughs> oh, what a great argument, right? All I can tell you is that I've never shopped on your website before, so I did not copy your brand. Oh. Oh, you never shopped there? So you didn't copy. Don't tell me, James Charles. Don't tell me you didn't know about that Teddy Fresh design. There's no goddamn falupin way you didn't know about that design. There's no way you just came up with that design or your team just came up with that design without knowing where they got it from. It's an exact replica. Maybe your team is so stupid and doesn't realize that Teddy Fresh is as big as they are. And they were like, oh, look at this design. This looks cool. Let's just rip this off without even knowing who Teddy Fresh was. And you know what? I'm glad Ethan is posting this shit online. All right? You know? Don't just approve something without figuring out who it that who they got it from. Like, you know, you got to look into these things and make sure that you're not stealing anyone else's design. Especially someone like Ethan Klein and Ela Klein. I should have just said Ethan and Ela Klein from H3. You know, they're like, you guys are in the same world. You're in the same space. <sighs> <laughs> right? Don't tell me you didn't know that fucking Teddy Fresh had this design. You're both YouTubers. You're both big YouTubers. Big YouTubers know other YouTubers' merch, whether they want to or not. You knew James Charles. Oh, you're such a Charlie Brown. Fuck you. Look at, look at this, okay? For those who haven't, you know, seen the difference between the two, here's the Teddy Fresh hoodie, okay? And here's Charles of the James's hoodie. Look at the sleeve cuffs, the hood, the strings, the uh, torso, and then the actual arms of the sweater themselves. They're like fucking, I they're identical, bro. They're identical. They're eye test they're identical. It'd be a different thing if it was some, like, you know, knockoff Chinese brand or someone who's so not associated with trends on the internet or whatnot, and they did it, you know, that'd be different. But when James Charles does it, I mean, come on. And this is what he tweeted a year ago about his fucking makeup. There are so many colors you can put into an eyeshadow palette, and I'm not claiming to own specific colors. But when you copy the exact shades and layout from my palette without even trying to hide it, okay? Because someone stole his fucking makeup design right here. This is like his palette, or this is his palette, and this is the person who stole it. I don't know. One or the other. All right? Same, same shit. Different pile of poop, you know? It's just a different pile of poop. Ah. <sighs> I don't practice sangria. I don't find the crystal ball. I don't blah 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 blah. You remember in like March and April when every single thing on the trending list was something to do with Corona? At least it's not like that anymore. Ah, there must be something about this room. My nose clogs up in this room. Oh, I need a camera so bad. I'm sick of using my cell phone. I'm sick of it, brother. I really didn't want to have to re-record this episode. I had it done, and I was supposed to edit it today. I was supposed to edit it today, so this episode's probably going to be a day late. Because I doubt I'm going to edit it today. And have all the clips and the thumbnails and shit ready. But I might, you know, depends how I feel. But right now, I just feel like record. You know, I, you know, when I, re- I want to record on a day, and then I want to edit on another day. I don't want to cram it all into one day. 
because it makes your brain a mushy piece of shit. Your brain just turns into a big ball of mushrooms. Look at this. You want to see something? TikTok. We're all worried about TikTok leaving the atmosphere, leaving the United States. Um, but they put out this message. Shall we read it? We are pleased to propose that blah, 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 the platform stand. That's basically what the message says. <laughs> okay? If you go to TikTok underscore comms on Twitter, I don't even know if this is the official site or official Twitter page. They're verified, so it must be. And uh, Jack... The owner of Twitter. TikTok follows them, so I think it's legit. News and updates from TikTok's communications team. I don't feel like reading this whole thing, so you go ahead and read it then. You go ahead, you stupid. What are you, stupid or something? Bro, we've got like 500 TikToks to watch today. I'm not even joking. There's not 500. There's a lot, though. And I've ca kind of compiled my own... My own collection of uh, YMH, you know, TikTok style videos. Uh, I heard these bitches was looking for me. You know, I should make my own intro. That would be fun. We could do that. I don't. Although I don't want to completely rip off YMH. I'm already ripping off. Dynamic banter with my sound bites that I use, like uh, this one, um, and this it's one, been and this one. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe this whole, maybe the Dynamite Gizmo podcast is all the best things of all my favorite podcasts cr crammed into mine. I don't know, but uh, if you're lonely out there, I've got someone for you. You're gonna like this girl. You guys are so cute, good-looking, so hot and sexy. <laughs> okay, yeah. hold on a minute here. Okay, look at look at what we got going on here. Is this not YMH fucking prime material? She's got the fingernails. She's got the fat. She's got the wonky eyes. She's got the teeth. She's got the hair. She's got the angles. She's got the lighting. All right? She spends the first, like, five seconds of the video trying to figure out how to do the hang ten sign. You know? She starts with the devil horns, then does, like, a point, and then a thumbs up, and then a pinky, and then she figures it out. Right? Like, let's go back here. Hold on. Let me, let me recite for the listeners what the fuck. It's devil horns. Pointer. Peace. Thumbs up. Pinky. There she goes. Hang ten. Hey, you guys look like twins. You guys are so cute. Good looking. So hot and sexy. Okay, what the fuck? She's even got the TV on in the background. I don't know who she's talking to. You guys look so cute. You're like twins. Ugh, hot and sexy. wouldn't mind having one of you guys as a boyfriend have a relationship with. <laughs> Is that how she attracts her mates? I wouldn't mind having one of you boys having sex with a relationship with. She's so removed. And it gets better. It gets much better. I oh more hand symbols. Just having trouble. Put that camera down. You're gonna need two hands for this. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, you got. <laughs> oh, she's got fish too. Oh, I feel bad for those fish.
and then it just cuts off right before she can say you. <laughs> she spends the whole video trying to say you. <laughs> and, then, and then it cuts off at the end. Oh. I love and it's just over. <laughs> Yeah, uh, man, and the camera falls. That was beautiful. Monster magnet power trip. Ugh. I need a mouth cleanser. Let's go to the ghetto for a second. Let's go to the ghetto. Whoops. Y'all ever been to the ghetto? It's raining. Whoa. It's pouring. Yes, Lord. Ha! Ah! Gotta get some of the rain. Drugs in right there, looking at drugs hell. What the hell? No way! Yee, yee, Oh, Singing the whole what time. What the hell? My boy, are you good? My boy. Okay. What a beautiful day in the ghetto. For those listening, uh, it starts off with a man in an alleyway singing singing his heart out, you know, just having a great day in the rain. Walking down the alley, he goes out of the gate, turns to his right, there's a drug deal going on, still singing, turns around to his left, and there's like a guy about to pass out in some shrubs. <laughs> and he does pass out, and then the video ends. Just a wonderful day in the ghetto. It's raining. Whoa. It's a pouring. So we're just gonna, I just gotta do some stuff here. Um, what, what do you wanna do next? We got lots of stuff. I think we're gonna go with this one. Um, Halloween's coming around the bend. You ready to get your spook on? Remember last episode when I showed you that guy who did a really good impression of that 90s, you know, generic scream toy decoration, I mean. You know the one I'm talking about where he's like I can't do it as well as he does it. But he's got a part 2. He's updating us a bit that there's different variations of the the sound. Why don't we just check that out? Fellas, do you ever realize that there's more than one version of spooky 90s ghost Halloween decoration? I gotta be honest, it's kind of hard to tell the difference between each one of those. But I get what he's doing, you know. He's just vibing off what's popular. <laughs> he knows that that's what got him the views, so he sticks to it. And, you know, everyone tends to do that. Everyone makes a video, they don't expect it to go viral, it goes viral. They're like, ooh, I could turn this into something. And they fucking milk that tit till it's fucking dry, dude. Sometimes it's okay to milk the tit, but I don't like that. I like fresh, original content. If your plan was to have more than one parts, then yeah, that's fine. But when something was just organic and was meant to be, and it goes viral, and then you just try to milk that and continue to do stuff based on that, it's like, eh. The sequels are never as good as the original. Just keep it at that. Make some more originals. And if they don't go viral, well, then that's just the way it was meant to be. All right? Because you make the sequel, and then it's just like, it's shitty. But a bunch of people came to it because they're expecting something as good as the first bit. But it never is. So don't milk it. Move on. Just like Gus Johnson did with, what the hell was that character? Mitchell Robbins. 
one of his best characters he ever created. Created it while he was in a you know really depressing time. Wasn't really motivated to do anything. Didn't think it was going to turn out, and it turned out fantastic. It's one of my favorite characters. And those are the kind of stories that I like. Those are the, you know, and then he did three episodes and he said, you know what, I'm done. Mitchell Robbins has run its course and you'll never see him again. And part of you goes like, well, fuck, it was such a good character. I want to see more. But then you got to think, do you? No, you don't. That little bit of, of Mitchell Robbins is all you get. And that's all you need. Just continue to watch the rest. I got the hiccups. Just continue to watch the rest of his shit. And you'll find something else just as great or even better. Alright? Now here's something that's not great. Here's something that's not great and it's confusing. And if you're listening, you're going to have no clue what's going on. And if you're watching, you're also not going to have any clue as to what's going on. So either way, you're screwed. But at least if you're watching, you get to see something. What are you doing? I just want to do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> like what? What was that? What was that? What got me is I assume this is like a father son situation. Look at the father figure's face. It progressively gets more mean and more angry to the point where it looks like he is about to strangle his fucking kid. He does the little mouth open thing. And you know when, like, you're watching movies and, like, the actor's face is so, uh, so, uh, engaged in what's going on and so angry that, like, their cheek, their cheekbone kind of, like, pushes in and out. You know what I'm talking about? You see, I see it all the time. That's what his cheek's doing. Like, he's about to fucking blow up and kill his kid. And then they just start grunting like a monkey. And then even at the end here, after after the dad does his final little squawk, the son's still going with the with the monkey grunts. But the dad still isn't really smiling. He still kind of looks angry. It's very confusing. <laughs> Look how angry he is. <laughs> and he does the monkey. <laughs> wow, what an interesting family. I wonder what they had for supper that night. Wonder what they had for supper. I had pizza. I've been eating pizza for the last three days. Well, two days. Today will be the third day. Pizza, and only pizza. <laughs> that's literally what I've been living on. Maybe that's why I feel like a piece of garbage. Because I've been living on pizza. How long can you live on pizza? Forever? It's got bread. It's got meat. Cheese. Tomato sauce, onions. This one has fucking pineapple on it, and I did not want pineapple. Every time I order the barbecue chicken, I always forget that this place puts fucking pineapple on it as well. Okay? If you're going to put pineapple on a pizza, put it with the fucking ham and call it Hawaiian. Don't put pineapple on a fucking barbecue chicken pizza. I never, I always, because it's, I don't order it. You know, I go months without ordering pizza, and then I order pizza again. And I always go for the barbecue chicken, because I love barbecue chicken. And then I get it, and I'm like, what is that? And I'm like, oh, there's fucking pineapple. I forget every time. 
I got to write a note in the menu when I'm looking next time and be like, request no pineapple. And I'm sure it says it, you know, in like the fine print underneath that there's pineapple on it. But I, I don't know. You don't read that. You just read what the pizza is and you're like, yeah, okay, one of those. But it's I'll still eat it. But shit, man. Leave pineapple where it belongs. Okay, let's watch this guy. This is another YMH special. Uh, this guy is full of YMH. But Julius's obsession with balloons goes beyond shapes and colors. My love for balloons, it's also a sexual love. Sexual. When I see a, a beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter and I get aroused. He's getting aroused. I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. Oh, well. That way it can take a lot of abuse. I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it. And it's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss a woman that you... Okay, wait a minute. Let's replay that last line there. In heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss a woman that you... What the fuck kind of argument is that? <laughs> don't you like to hug and kiss a woman that you're in love with? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Because it's a fucking woman. It's not a balloon. What kind of argument is that? Don't you like to hug and kiss a woman that you love? Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what humans do, bro. We don't fuck balloons. How do you even fuck a balloon? Has this guy seen condoms? This guy would freak out if you showed him condoms. He'd be like, what the fuck is this? In a good way, though. Because, damn, you can blow condoms up like fucking massive and they're lubed up and they're designed for your penis if you want to fuck a balloon fuck a condom because they're designed for that someone's got to show this guy condoms for real and show him all the different variations show him the ribbed ones he'll be like whoa you know I'm never getting a girl ever again I'm just going to stick with this Imagine going over to this guy's house with your children. And they'd be like, look at all the balloons. <laughs> and you'd be like, Tiffany, get away from those. She's like, this one's stuck to me. And he's like, yeah, it's static electricity. No, it's like gooey stuff. Mm. Get that one off you, Tiffany. I can't. It's stuck to me. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Get it. We're getting out of this house, you balloon fucker. Okay. Uh, we got Bun Man, we got Attack of the Trash, we got Ultimate Fart in Hospital, and then uh, Man Looking for Love. I think we'll save that one for the last. So what do you want to watch? Janice, which one should I pick? Attack of the Trash, Bun Man, or Ultimate Fart in Hospital? Of course you'd pick that one. Janice is disgusting. She's got a fart fetish. So she's going to love this one. This is my dad after getting out of an eight-hour back surgery. So he's still in the hospital. He's lying on the bed. There's someone next to him with the curtain dividing the two. Hey, boss, I have to fart really bad. Is that okay? I'm sorry, were you typing? Yeah, I have to fart really bad. Is it okay if I fart? Well, um, just make sure I got all the flames off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm up when. Yeah, I think you're good. Now he's pushing. He's pushing. Holy Let him push. Man. Holy. Why is he so calm? I'd be fucking laughing my ass off so goddamn hard. 
How do people just do that? Like, hey, man, you mind if I fart? And the, and the old guy made a little joke. He's like, yeah, let me just put out all the flames first. And then he lets that out and doesn't even fucking laugh. I mean, come on. Shit's funny, dude. I didn't laugh <laughs> either, but <laughs> that's because uh, I already laughed. I already got those laughs out, okay? I've seen this many a time. I'm sorry I keep picking my nose. I, I'm sorry. There is something in my nose and it's driving me nuts. And I can't get it. It's like up there. Um, do you have relatives on like TikTok or Facebook or Instagram and you look at the shit that they post and you're like, what's going on? Because in their minds, they think, oh, what I'm doing is cool and hip and this is what all the youngins are doing now and this is going to be fun and funny. And then if it get, it gets a lot of traction because of how unaware, unself-aware this the old people are. So the old people take it as, oh, people love my stuff. They do, but they love it for the wrong reasons, okay? They love it for the wrong reasons, old people. And they don't see that. They don't recognize that. And I feel bad for the old people. But whatever. Hopefully when I am old, this doesn't happen to me. But this guy, Joel in the garage, or garage, garage, however you want to pronounce it, He's got something to say. And it's so not important. And he's obviously trying to be funny. And it is funny. But for all the wrong reasons. So let's watch. Alright, we want to meet Joel in the garage. I snuck upstairs. Very sad situation. Here's the hamburger buns. Where's the burgers? Where's the burgers? No burgers. Where's the burgers? Where's the burgers? No burgers. Where's the burgers? Sad situation. I got buns, but no burgers. Where's the burgers? Where's the burgers? I don't know, Joel. Why don't you go to the fucking grocery store? How about that? TikTok's not going to help you. You're not going to find no fucking hamburgers on TikTok, bro. You will. But you won't be able to eat them. It's a lame attempt at a joke, but it's funny. It's funny for all the wrong reasons. And that's what we do here, all the wrong reasons. I want to see people get hurt. I want to see food fall. <laughs> yeah, I like seeing people get hurt. I like seeing people get unexpectedly hurt. Where they're just like doing something, you know, like an everyday chore. And then, like, uh, a hockey stick comes flying through the window and smashes into their face or something. That's the funny stuff. I don't want to see people die. That don't, I don't want that. Just get hurt. Like, I'm willing to see someone get, you know, like, crippling, paralyzed. <laughs> get crippled and paralyzed. <laughs> No, I don't want to see that. No, I don't want to see that. Uh, people get so hurt so bad that they end up in a wheelchair. No. No, none of that. Just like, you know, life, like people slipping on ice, smashing their skull. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the simple stuff. Like the guy, the newscaster guy who had the bag that was floating in the wind and just like <laughs> hit him in the face. You remember that classic? Uh, or stuff like this. This attack of the trash. Okay, there's a little dirt devil floating around. whatever Dust devil, whatever you want to call them. Like a mini tornado. And this person wants to save the trash can out of the fucking swimming pool. You can't blame them. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. It's a chunky motherfucker. But they're trying to save the trash can. Oh, 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 oh! Ah! Turn the fucking volume down. Okay, so there's the trash. It scares the person. Now the person's in the pool, saving the trash. Yeah, here comes the dust devil. 
<laughs> uh, smacks her twice, sends her in a loop. That's a powerful little tornado. A couple smacks in the face and a little twisty do, and then she lets. And then notice that the person lets the trash can go. You know, the whole idea of getting into the pool was to get the trash can out of there. And then the little tornado gets the trash can out of there by itself anyway. Watch. <laughs> and then there. Now the trash can's out of the pool. Moral of the story is don't be a hero. Okay? Don't help anyone or anything. Just you witness an accident, you just let it fucking let it happen. Just like nature intended. Don't do a damn thing. Okay? You see someone have a stroke and pass out in their car and they hit a telephone pole, but they're still obviously breathing, but their car's on fire? Let it happen. It was meant to be. Obviously, I'm joking. Jesus Christ, don't take it for serious. Don't take it for serial. Now, we're going to end with this feller from Toronto. He's looking for love. So if y'all out there are looking for love, I've got the guy for you right here. He's got a white shirt, and he's at a construction site. Hello, I'm single. My name is Charles. I live in downtown Toronto. Um, if any free ladies outside, there, single ladies outside, they give me a call. They ask me coronavirus free. Coronavirus free. I said Joseph Hospital. That came out negative. Okay. Video cuts off real quick. That didn't even seem like 60 seconds. Because he did the 15 second video. Okay? This guy's such a boomer, he didn't even realize he could go for 60 seconds. He obviously had more to say. He doesn't know how to work the fucking units. He doesn't even know how to use TikTok. You don't want to be with this guy. Changed my mind. And you gotta be coronavirus free. <laughs> That's a lot to ask for, my guy. I'm gonna say, I got the perfect guy for him, though. Right here. Okay? These two are match made in fucking heaven, right? I mean, could you I could imagine these two together. Couldn't you? I mean she's already looking at him with one of her eyes right now. Bada boom bada bing. <laughs> right? Hang ten, bruh. Or this is the devil. She's at the devil right now. There we go. Hang ten. God damn, she's she is not pleasant. I gotta say, I gotta be honest. I you know, I don't care if you say that's mean. Look, I love. Cuts off the video. Perfect. You know, some people are just not pleasant to look at. I wouldn't be surprised if she's never had a lover. I mean, if that if that guy is that desperate, I mean, he could give her a shot. She looks like someone who's from Toronto. Right? I could see her in Toronto. Toronto. Taranto. Quentin Tarantino. Quentin Toronto. Ugh. Okay. Oh, we've been doing... We did decent. We did decent today, folks. I've got an hour and six minutes on my clock. I don't know what you have on yours, but it's at least an hour, I assume. Oh, please call my angel. All right. Well, this was a successful episode of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast, episode 171. I hope you enjoyed it. And please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You all know the rules. That's the rules. All right? You're an hour and six minutes in. You might as well subscribe. You might as well hit the bell notification because you're obviously intrigued. All right? My sensei always told me, don't eat the tomato before it ripens. But if you do, eat the whole thing. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye!